All right, guys. Here's a here here's a question. 2019 paper one, question nine. That says, given that one, two, three, four, five, six, up to ten, there are numbers, and the number is chosen at random. They are saying find the probability that is a perfect square. Now, what you need to know that what is a square? Okay, there's a difference between a square and a square root. A square is a number that you get after you multiply it twice by its number. So let's look at the solutions. So question A, a perfect square from here, okay, is just a number which you can get after a square. Now, when I, when I multiply one by one by one, one squared to give me one. So one is a number. What number do I get when I square two? Four. So four is there. What else? Nine is there. Quasilla. These are the perfect squares. Numbers that you can only get after you square you square a certain number. For example, one squared is one. Two squared is four. Three squared is e? nine. We don't have four squared to give us sixteen. So therefore, since we have three numbers, the probability of what perfect square will be equal to 1, 2, 3 over how many numbers are here? There are 10, so out of 10. So this is the probability. Then B. B says solve the equation. 8x equal to 128. Our main M is to have the same bases here. That's our main M, to have the same bases. So what can we do? So we discover that we need for us to have same bases, we must find this, this the smallest possible base. Now we need to find a number where that we can raise to the power, same thing to give us 128. Now in this case we don't have a number, but we can break down the the base here. We know that two to the power three is the same as eight equal to two to the power seven is the same as 128. So now we can eliminate the similar bases. Remember this power is being multiplied there. So we're going to have 3x equal to 7. So over 3, over 3. So x is therefore equal to 1, remainder 4, sorry, 2, x equal to 2, remainder 1, over 3. That's the answer.